A big hairy hello from me, Baboon King, and today on Minecraft Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved, we are going to build a storage room. That's right. And uh, to start off with things, I quickly want to show you guys. I made myself a couple of new tools, uh, except for the Signalum crossbow, which we did cover in a previous episode. But over here is a Signalum hammer. And this thing is actually pretty cool. I use Signalum. I don't know why, it's ju it just looked like the <laughs> correct thing to use. But anyways, as you guys can see, I added a flux, a diamond and redstone to it. The flux is for charging this uh, hammer. And I've been busy with it and also made myself a Signalum pickaxe and a Signalum broadsword, which has 7.5 hearts attack and is three modifiers remaining. So what I will do is I'm going to add some quartz to it. So it, it brings up those hearts and that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that's it. And there was other things I want to tell you guys. The storage, we are going to move them downstairs. Okay, but do you guys notice anything here? No? Nothing? You don't see anything? I got rid of this uh, staircase down here. Yep, that is correct. I got rid of it and I'll show you guys in a moment. But what I want to get to in the future is the ender quarry. So if you go to ender quarry, over here you can see that whatever it requires a sapling, a diamond pickaxe, and all of these magnificent things. Ugh, this is gonna be a drag, but that's no problem. And yeah, that it, like, as you can see, it gives you ender infused obsidian. And let's go back. So we only need two, so we can probably make another quarry if we really want to, but yeah. And this, this is a, quite a process. So that's why we needed the ender pearls to get this running. And burnt quartz is just a block of quartz being melted down, all that stuff. Nice jazz. And yeah, so let me show you guys where we are going, damn it, <laughs> where are we going to build our storage area. So I made myself an elevator, also got rid of this staircase. And I am going to get rid of these waters very soon, but let's go down the elevator. And I did this so that every time we go up and down the elevator, we don't, you know, bump our heads or miss it or anything. So let's go up one. I want to show you guys here. Uh, this is going to be the place for our gardens and things, which is uh, soon I'm going to make them. I'm still figuring out maybe using some clear glass like that, uh, but not the block out sun one, the normal clear glass or something. Going to put some in here, get some flowers and stuff like, I don't know, wheat and uh, all uh, growable things, which is a necessity, not flowers specifically which I'm going to grow up here, but let's go down one, two, two, there we go. Uh, finally, and this is how it will look like. Well, <laughs> I spent some quite uh, some time down here. This is where the where we set up the quarry and down here is probably around here is the big hole. The quarry was like mass excavating the area. And over here, I was thinking we can put our lasers and stuff. I use some laboratory blocks around here, as you guys can hear. <laughs> it sounds so cool. And uh, yeah, I'm going to set up the lasers and stuff in here. And these torches are going to go. I'm going to put in some glowstone strips and nooks and all those beautiful things. And I was thinking of putting a glass in here so that every time when we're outside, let's go this way. Yep. We can actually, it would, I think it would look cool. You know, maybe I should use more laboratory blocks over there. So it's all over. So it's look, you know, it looks good. So it looks like a laboratory or some sort of lasers. That's going to be pretty cool. I left that chest here um, due to the high amount of cobblestone in it. And I used most of it just to get all of these, like, blocks. These chiseled blocks. And yeah, there's our ender, not ender, nether portal. And uh, yeah, so let me quickly get some things done. And I'll bring you guys back as soon as I uh, got some things moved around. So see you guys in a bit. And we're back. So, uh, quickly I want to tell you guys is I'm currently smelting up some stone because I want to look at these item nodes. And what I want to do is, as you guys can see, I moved everything here to downstairs. Now what I want to do is put some item transfer nodes underneath each of these guys. So that every time when, like, when we make something... Ooh, there's thunder. Like, let's say we smelt down iron, we make it blocks, and then it would automatically get sucked out and into our system, which would go down here. Just quickly want to show you guys over here. 
So it will get sorted into this system over here. And let's say, for instance, we craft up there. Then we can just, like, let's say, for instance, like, yada, yada, yada. Oh, I need some of this. Let's quickly go to the elevator. Let's go down. Down. There we go. And then, uh, let's say, yeah, we, we need some of this. Okay, let's go. You know, that's that's all what I want to do. And I quickly want to show you guys. Um, back here, I'm going to add some of those pipes down here. See, I'm going to need a lot of them. So anyways, let's go up. I'll show you guys... Let's go down one. Alright. There we go. So down here is another uh, little room I made. Just to get all the pipes and everything sorted in. I'm going to add some transfer pipes like this one. That sounded very close. Like transfer pipes like this is going to all be down here. And uh, energy pipes and all those beautiful things. I just thought I might bring you guys back. Let's go up here. Just to show you guys, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys in a minute as soon as everything is done. And we're back, so I uh, quickly want to tell you guys that um, I did a lot of work downstairs and moved some of the chests. As you guys can see, the Jabba barrels and everything else was moved downstairs. It was actually quite a mess. I could not believe it. I accidentally used my, uh, what is it called, the stone lumber axe and it chopped down a bunch and well like a three by three area and yeah that happened so <laughs> i had to run back and forth and when i got to the chest i was like ah oh, everything's gonna despawn but i did set up a little bit of automation over here this is a redstone clock next to two faucets and a lever no excuse me and a lever so i got some silver in here and i want to see if this automation thingy works all right Let's go ahead and flip the switch. All right, it's working. It's working just very slowly. And I'm gonna let this run. And what it does is protect, it switches on, switches off, switches on the whole time. You guys can let me know in the comment section what is better to use over here to get this automated. Let's see? And, bloop, gone. Nice. Okay, so let me show you guys what I've done down here. Let's just break this block, go down here. All right, so what I did was down here is I added some of these uh, transfer nodes or items, yeah, and then some transfer pipes and all around. I let it run up until here, down to the barrels. So if we go to the barrels, let's really just get out of here. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, all right. Let's go downstairs. All right, and I moved everything over here and made a couple of diamond chests as well. This area might be filled with a bunch of chests and stuff or things like what we find. If I can give you guys an example. Like, I don't know, these things. I found these somewhere. I don't know where. Um, but yeah, some like this random junk we get. Well, maybe in the future this won't be junk. But yeah, in the future... When we get some stuff, we can just plop them down in these chests. Otherwise, we will use these barrels. And I'm trying to... I think this is going to be like the server room for the ME. ME? Apply, or AE? Not ME, AE. Applied Energy Six or whatever. The computer thing that can craft for you and everything. So, this is going to be like the server room, I think. Or the drive room, storage drives and stuff. This is where this is all going to be. And next episode, I think we're going to set up a bunch of lasers over there. Which is pretty cool. Now, down here... As you guys can see, a lot of pipes, a lot of pipes. It comes down from up there to in here. And I just quickly want to see... This is our silver. And now it is transferring all the silver to there. I think there's some silver blocks over here. Okay, let's see. There's eight. All right, let's keep an eye on that. That is eight. Now let's see if it transfers the correct way. Alright, let's see, is this thing done? Did it... I think it's done. Is it done? Yeah, it's, it's done. Wow, okay, that was quite quick. I must say. Um, let's go down here and check it out real quick. And... Yeah, I think that was about the most of it. I just quickly want to check out. It's... It was about this many, nine, 
15, 11, 12. Yeah, this, this was the full block. Okay, okay. I think so. Or was it this? Yeah, it was this. There we go. That's, that's, that, those were the extras. Huh. Okay. So, I just need to convert these back into blocks. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Sorry, there's not much we've done. But in the future, like I said, over there, we are going to... Uh, uh, over there, we're going to do the lasers. And I was also thinking of doing some solar panels to get some uh, like power going. And tesseracts, all the crazy stuff which we're going to do in the future. I just did not have enough time to do everything around here. But this did take up a lot of my time. Anyways... Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. Make sure you hit that like button if you did enjoy the episode. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.